Hello. All right. I had a student who asked me um, exactly what to do for finding a scholarly resource and what a scholarly resource is. And so I get this question quite a bit and I thought I would um, create a little a little uh, video here for you. So uh, hopefully you see here on my screen is uh, Google Scholar. So probably one of the easiest things to do is to simply go to uh, Google Scholar, that's scholar.google.com you see up here. And then you go to the page here and you type in what you're looking for. So whatever topic or subject or something along those lines, what you're looking for. So say we're looking for depression. And as you can see, it, all of its predictive text it's, has a lot of different things to search for. You search for depression, in a half a second, we got over 3 million resu results. You can change the, um, the date, time to do something more relevant. Um, honestly, almost anything I will accept. If it's in the scholarly literature, I will accept it. Even something from 1979 down here. Humans are humans and they don't really change much. Um, unless, of course, you are looking for something that's more topical. So say you're, you're doing a research paper or your topic is um, social media causes depression. Then obviously there was no social media back in 1979. So you want to create your custom range say to start in 2000 or maybe 1995 um, probably the earliest kind of social media maybe that there was 2018 and then look there and now you're getting stuff that's more relevant just in that period of time um, so then you find your your scholarly article and here it is so you go here and some of them this is a book review it looks like but you know even that I would I would accept if you found something interesting in it um, effects of treating depression low perceived social support on clinical events is what this one is and we'll look at it together here um, that didn't come up with anything and sometimes it doesn't do that So here's another one, validity of hospital anxiety depression scale. So this is kind of typically what you get. So you get the journal, the Journal of Psychosomatic Research. Um, here's the updated, here's the full text. You'd have to log in to get it. Now what you can do is once you get the article so you get the article the validity of hospital anxiety depression scale now you want to see the full full thing of it if it doesn't give it to you sometimes it won't because you have to have a then go to the site and look under library tools so you see UCF library tools here so we're on Interview with counseling, we're on web courses. Click home and then you go down to UCF library tools. Click that. Articles and databases. Now click that. Okay, now you're going to search the database for the one you just found in Google Scholar. And sometimes it won't find it there. Then you have to go directly to the psychology site and search for it through there. Uh, sometimes you got to sign in to the library and on and on. So then once you go into the library, you can kind of search for it uh, yourself and, and find the, the full article. I really would suggest that you get the entire article and not just um, the abstract because that's not going to help you uh, as much as you, you, sh you should, I mean, I'm, not, you know, I'm wearing my my doctorate graduation cap, so I look more uh, in impressive when I'm giving you this information. <laughs>
I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Uh, but that's basically how you do it.